Now we have created a Mannings and raster, but maybe you want to calculate something from that. So you are wondering how does that reflect in a Strickler value? So to do that, we just need to calculate the inverse of the Mannings n. So to do that, we can use the raster calculator. You go here to the raster menu toolbar and just find the raster calculator. And you will find here the possibility to define um, a calculation expression. So the raster calculator expression is what we want to define. We also want to define an output layer. So the output layer is then um, actually the results file name that we want to create and that we can call it then uh, Strickler. Tiff. And the layer extent can then be uh, from the source. We can just leave it as it is uh, at the uh, moment and use here uh, and uh, leave that checkbox here at result to project check it. So now go here to the field expression then you see here that operators uh, framework uh, frame and you see a number of operators that you can apply. So we want to use some uh, expression here with our um, raster band. So that is our raster band that contains the Mannings n values. So to get now the inverse of that, um, go here to the raster uh, calculated expression type one, then we want to divide it here by the raster band. Just double click here on the raster band. Of course, you can also just type here um, the backslash here to have the uh, and to have the division operation. So one divided by Manning's n to calculate the Strickler value. But I just recommend using here always the buttons because it's just more fail safe. Well, we have defined now our output layer, our raster calculate expression, and we can run the calculation. So now we got here the inverse of the Mannings n. That is our Strickler value. So that should be coarser on the banks and um, a little um, rougher on the banks. So have lower Strickler values on the banks and a higher Strickler value here at the channel center. And that perfectly reflects you with a white color in the center. So if you want to verify if your results are correct, you can go here again on that identify features button. You can just click here. If you want to see all layers, um, you can click here on top down um, and just use all of them. And then you get here your Strickler and your Mannings N. Now you can just um, use your calculator and type 1 divided by 0 0.028 and that should be then 35.71. So that is very trivial, of course. Um, but if you want to verify, for example, results from a numerical simulation, um, it is very important to know how to use that tool here and to verify if your calculation was correct. And again, don't forget to save your project.